Hi folks, I'm Susie and I'm going through lecture three. Food poisoning and foodborne disease and personal hygiene. This lecture will increase your understanding of food contamination and the importance of personal hygiene. At the end of this lecture, you will be able to identify the main sources of bacterial contamination, give examples of action which should be taken to prevent the contamination of food, state and explain the reasons for high standards of personal hygiene. Food poisoning is an acute illness caused by the consumption of contaminated or poisonous food. Acute means it happens quickly. The incubation period is the time taken for bacteria to grow to such numbers that they cause food poisoning. This is anything from 1 to 36 hours. The duration of the illness is usually 1 to 7 days. With food poisoning, Large numbers of pathogens are required to cause illness. Hundreds of thousands, or a few million. As well as food poisoning, where large numbers cause illness. Foodborne diseases are caused by pathogens, where small numbers can cause illness. For example, just a handful to a few hundred. These are termed low-dose pathogens. They come into contact with us by way of the fecal-oral route. This can happen when raw sewage is discharged into a waterway and that water used to spray fruit. Let's look at personal hygiene. You must maintain the highest possible standards of personal hygiene to avoid contaminating food. Food handlers must wear protective clothing whilst working with food. Examples include overalls, jackets, trousers, aprons, hats, hairnets, neck coverings, safety shoes, boots and gloves. You must avoid wearing jewellery, which could fall into food and contaminate it. Do not wear watches, as you could get a build-up of contaminants that could fall into the food. Don't wear perfumes, which could chemically contaminate the food. Heavy makeup and nail varnish could fall into the food and physically contaminate it. When you put your protective clothing on, always put your hat on first. When you work with food, do not do the following. Smoke, cough or sneeze over food, pick your nose or any other orifice, spit, bite nails or lick fingers, eat in the food area, scratch yourself or touch your face or hair. What you should do when working with food include the following. Cover cuts with a blue waterproof plaster so it is easier to see if it falls into food, keep nails short and clean, wash hands regularly and report illnesses and septic wounds to your supervisor. Thanks for watching. That's all for this session. The next video will continue with food contamination and control.